So at a certain point, when you look at me, what is it to your benefit to give me an education? Maybe if you start thinking of me as an asset instead of a liability or a disabled person, then maybe you will invest in me in a different way because I don't think that y'all see me for who I am. I think y'all see me for what y'all think y'all need to do with me as opposed to what you need to do with me. <laughs>
to ban the box and hire, give more people a second chance? Because I think it enhances public safety. I don't think that crime is a, a first choice, it's generally a last option. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, and what makes great business sense for me is if you take my tax dollars and you're spending it for private contractors doing business with the federal government, I should have access where my tax dollars are being spent. Private contractors currently control 25% of the labor market. If you really want to employ formerly incarcerated people, you will ask the federal government to ban the box for private contractors doing business with the, federal con with the federal government. That will give us equal access to employment. It's not a question of whether or not uh, we all downtrodden and undereducated. Some parts of it is I'm not lazy. Maybe I'm facing discrimination. It may be a structural in nature. Unless you overcome that, uh, what is the purpose of acquiring education in prison if you can't get past structural discrimination and structural racism? Hey, before we take another step, I, I think I need to do one thing before I leave here. Like, I'm 64 years old. I may never come to the White House again. <laughs> and I may never get this opportunity again, right? So if I don't do this, then I think that I done neglected my homies who I done left in prison who gave me an education. If I don't do this, I think my childhood sweetheart is sitting out there that I'm enjoying uh, both the, uh, the, enjoying the summer of my life and the winner of my life. I got to thank my staff who, uh, who work for me, so I'm not just a person that sits up in here. I employ 15 people, and at one point, I was the largest employer in my, in my community. So at a certain point, when you look at me, what is it to your benefit to give me an education? Maybe if you start thinking of me as an asset instead of a liability or a disabled person, then maybe you will invest in me in a different way because I don't think that y'all see me for who I am, I think y'all see me for what y'all think y'all need to do with me as opposed to what you need to do with me. <laughs>